Alrighty. We have Kaiser University versus Northwood Esports. Call of Duty Maine. I am once again JP Frosty on the Academy team. Uh, I am joined here by once again LTC Stats, also known as Evan. Evan, how you doing today? I am doing good. JP, how are you? Uh, I've been a pretty uh, pretty hectic day, but it is what it is. Nothing like uh, playing some video games to relax those nerves. So uh, hopefully let's uh, let's get right into it and start it up quickly. I think we're missing two people from Kaiser right now. Yeah, now I know we were just talking about this. Now we still have it's two more people load in. The beta drops tomorrow. Yes, it does. Um, I'll God. be ranking these up, these new PCs up to ultra for the first few games to see the quality. Definitely, definitely got to try out the new PCs, see how they do with the new game. Uh, I'm excited for the new beta to come out. I I cannot wait. Um, I I plan on just grinding as much as possible. I'm sure so is you. So do you. I'm sure same with all of these guys. Yeah, there's already been so many new mechanics that we are seeing. Dive canceling. Yeah. I'm, backward slide canceling. I'm excited to see how dive canceling is going to work in the competitive scene. I want to see if it's actually a viable option instead of slide canceling, or if slide canceling is going to make a return. I would feel that when you think it, let's say, even on okay, let's say you know black car. You usually need that right off the rip, so the dive cancel there is, I feel like that's going to be taken away. You're not even going to be able to dive cancel off that. Yeah, I agree. Um, good nades and stuns, I think, are definitely going to be a big hinder of movements in this new game. Because uh, the second you're done uh, attack sprinting, your movement's just gone. Your movement is right out the window, and there's nothing you can do other than just sit there and hope you win the gunfight. But... I am uh I'm very excited to see how everything else works out. Uh Yeah. I just can't wait for the game to finally come out. I hope they I hope they do a good job. Yeah, no, I I know Boston announced their roster yesterday. I did hear uh Methods coming back, Vivid's coming back. Um who was it? Neo, uh, Nero's coming back, and then their fourth is Awakenings, if I saw that correctly. Yeah, we got Big Wake joining Boston. That's yeah, that I did read that correctly. Um, I'm excited. I'm excited to see that roster. Uh, I know you're a big Boston Beach fan. Uh, Boston Beach fan. I am as well. Um, not only am I a Boston fan, I am also a New York fan. Uh, New York fan, but that was mainly because of Krim. Uh, Crim Six, and it sucks to see him go. It sucks to see him retire, but I understand his reasoning. Yeah, 13 years playing Call of Duty. Ar 13 years pro Ar as anything. That Ar is. Yeah, arguably one of the best winningest uh, pro players. So he's had he's had a great great season, great run. And I see Bink just typed ready. I see that as Blue well. Waiting on Kaiser. Yep. Get the green light. Yep. And it looks like here it is. So we're going to switch over to the map now, to the game. We have a bow cage HP as the first map. Let's see if uh, let's see if Northwood can come out as dominant as last time. So far, Northwood has had a pretty good record so far in NACE on Bowcage HP. Uh, if I remember correctly, 250 to 4 in their first week. So, yeah, I uh, believe it was around that. It was definitely single think... digits. Yeah, they did not break the double digits as we go into P1 here. No, they did not. 
bank with a great nade to start off the opening kills. Trades come through immediately. Infinite with the 1 HP. Inside of Kaiser, they're doing a good job of contesting and even getting some time off this first fill. I agree. So far, their opening break has been pretty good. Good hits, too. And here we see the flip, the automatic flip with the time for Kaiser. That's just got to see what Northwood can do to try to reflip here. There was the teammate from Kyle coming into Infinite, but that it's going to be number two, Bink, already at P2, and he will go down. Jack looks like he's hitting a route through River, and looks like he has flipped the spawns. Unless that was just a weird spawn by Bank. Northwood will continue spawning River. While Kaiser keeps spawning. Towards that, Grandma's. Big two by Dak and Bottom Barn. That should give the opening that they need. We see here just laying down and time just trying to even out the score a little bit Dak and Kyle already looking for new both picking up kills Kyle will get traded though there's infinite for the final trade Jack is now one off streak. And Low has secured three. them. Secured the streak. Will cannot get the glide though. That is unfortunate. But so far, good setup. Good rotations. Good early rotations. We see Whoop on the flank. Bank doing everything he can and then some. Picking up a three on hill. Now it just kind of seems like non-stop trades. Just kind of trying to see what they can do. Trying to see exactly who they can pick up. Shark with a nice kill to get it sometime. Does get needed. Dak does check that corner. Dak will with get the two. Big two. They know somebody's up top. They have to by now. Kyle looks like he's looking for him. Dak here with the help. Gets a two. Fortunately, they won't get traded. And this is what you usually see in barn. A lot of contest time. A lot of it, yeah. But Northwood has come out on top. And we see that they are already pushing for rotation with Kyle and Bink in the back, which will almost securely, perfectly secure spawns. I can't help but notice that Kyle has an automaton out. I, I wonder if he is running their AR or has just picked one up. That is a good question. Activate him, dead silence. It's two, look for the third, we'll get it. Right now, all they're looking for right now. And a flip has come in. I would say that's a pretty good time flip. 30 seconds left on old. Bank is protecting that river hit, just to be sure. Back. We'll get the rest of the P5 scrap. As Northwood is just cleaning up the rest of the team around the map. K 
kills are finally going Northwood's way, and it is Dak doing a lot of slaying right now. 27 and 14 on a 6. Now they're just even trying to hold them in the and get the time. Dak gets the glide bomb. That is massive. He is currently 2 and 0. KD 2 and 0. Hey, Tub will flick at one and immediately trade it out. That is really good time for that P1. Usually you don't see that much time getting acquired, but that was almost 30 seconds straight for Northwood. What do you love to see on that P1 hold? Being yeah, prepared. usually out of there with 20 seconds, you're proud. Dak perfectly read the zig, unfortunately can't pick up the kill though. Bink looks like he's trying to flip here down river. Knows he has to look for one in the back here, see if he can get good timing. We'll get one. Absolute on top barn gets killed immediately. Just like that, they have spawns, they flipped, and they have time. Jack with the push up. Now last time we ran on P2, Northwood did allow a player to get onto this tank heady and caused a lot of trouble. Yes, they did. I do believe it was whoop on that tank. I could be wrong, but... I believe you are correct. Already playing for new here, though. It doesn't matter. Dak still with a 2.0 KD. Just causing havoc. Very good setup. Coming to this P3. A glide bomb will be used. That is Dak's glide bomb. Shark will win the one on one to get some time. Back here for the contest, comes out. Dunn comes back at that door. Trades come in immediately, and just like that, time is rehopped as we're nearing 200 points for Northwood. Bank almost getting the pistol killed. That would have been amazing. Top and infant with the team shots at old. While Dak is pushing up and just doing what he's done the entire map so far and just being a problem. Infinite around tractor. We'll get tanked out. It seems like Northwood is actually trying to hold this site from uh, bad spawns here. Seems like they're just defending while Kaiser has barn spawns, and I'm not knocking on them because it is it is working. They have had a lot of hill time. Unfortunately, they do go three down. Infinite will get the trade, and there comes the spawn flip. A little bit late from what they wanted. Infinite sneaking up top does spot that player's barrel just past the ears. Easy kill for him. As we have Bink, deep mud, looking to flip, possibly trying to see if he can get a pick first. Get some shots into Whoop. Whoop will come out on top on that. Another glide bomb gets used. Does not kill anything. But that's immediately four down by the entire team. Everybody putting in their job. Everybody doing work. This is going to be infinite now. Pushing up. Trying to stop the contest. Only two seconds. And that is it. Northwood takes map one. Bow cage hard point. 250 to 150. And... I would say it was a kind of slow start, but I honestly think I'm lying. It was really only P1 that was a problem. After that P1, it was just it was just a problem for Kaiser and Dak going to 48-24 with a 2.0 KD.
just you love to see it. You love to see stats like that after winning a map. Yeah, 36 non-traded kills coming from Dak. That is what you love to see. That somebody get that man traded. Somebody trade him, please. That can't happen. We'll have a host swap for the search and destroy. Bink just reinvited me immediately, so I don't know if we're going to have a host swap. I could be wrong, but I'm right back in their lobby. All right. Looks like they're already switching sides up already, so I I think we are just not going to switch. switch uh... yeah. Perfect host. No need to switch. Yeah, and that's all right with us because it makes the night go by a lot faster. Here we have Desert Siege. I'm curious to see if we're going to see someone pull a sniper. Um, I agree. I would love to see a little bit of sniper battles coming out on this map. Um, it's very interesting, actually, that we are playing a Desert Siege because you never see that map being played in Search. It is always one of the first ones getting banned. Now, I'm very curious, are they going to go as we start up? Super aggressive. Are we going to play a little slower with this new roster? Yeah, I am uh, I am asking the same question. Um, I think the way that Northwood has been playing and is still playing, I wouldn't be surprised if they go with an aggressive play style here right up the rip. Uh, just because I feel like they have the slang ability, definitely. Here we are, already loading into the second map. Not wasting anybody's time out here. And someone does have a sniper. I see that as well. It is Dak who has the sniper out right now. Let's see what he can pick up. Perfect pre-aim right there. Barely missed him. I'm going to have to remember that pre-aim. Wow. Oh. Shark. Had to have seen him as he threw that nade. Infinite with the opening. Boop. With the response on K-Top. Outer trains right now. We're just kind of looking at a stalemate. I stand corrected. Infinite gets taken down top middle. Tags come in to Shark. Bank has planted B. B for their spawn. So we're going to see how Kaiser here answers. Bank answers that though with an easy pickup. Trains. Deck will have to fall down. We'll have to re shell Shark here. Reno, right on top of the bomb, will take down Dak. Shark does take down Dak. A play for the time, and they will get the defuse. Round one. Reno with a 3k in the first round. Dak puts away the sniper and trades it for an automaton. Let's see if he's still going to overlook trenches here. It was Shark last round that went in that exact position. But he has an SMG this round. K Top gets a stun kill. Infinite and K Top just causing havoc over near that train side. Bomb, Bomb is will be down. Bomb is down. Not in the prettiest of places either. Infinite. Right in between the two broken trains. That is, right that is definitely a hard spot to retrieve that bomb without getting spotted. 
infinite is in their spawn kind of just playing cat and mouse with whoop in their spawn i think they both kind of understand that they're there but don't really feel like challenging it respectively Right now, it kind of just looks like a stalemate. Just kind of seeing who's going to make the first move. Northwood knowing that they have the defense, so they do not need to make the first move, especially with numbers. Shots will come in, acting on Reno. That gets tapped up for mid, but infinite there for the kill. And just like that, 4-0. Oh. Dominant defense that we've seen some from Northwood so far. I'm curious to see if Reno goes to the same position as he switches right back to the uh, automaton. I agree. I want to see if Shark goes that outer. He does. Looks like an A hit coming out by Northwood. They might change it up upon hearing those shots, but Infinite gets the first kill. Bottom mid. Slowly making their way through the university. Infinite that trying to deal with the guy's sniper clock tower. Bank will spot shark. And gets the kill. K Top does die outer trains. Bomb and going down B. Numbers Green in. Infinite. In numbers in Northwood's advantage. Now extremely in Northwood's advantage. As they are just playing for whoop. He does take down Infinite. But now they know where he is. Oh, what is this position Kyle's trying to get in right here? Seems like one I might have to steal. Wow, that gives a lot of vantage over that B-bomb. Bink picks up the first one, though. Infinite. With an immediate second kill there. Kaiser now down two almost immediately. Bink picking up a third. Wow. It's, you got to think this is over yet. They're just that situation, no oh. cover. Oh, yeah. There's not really much you can do there. 1v4 against Northwood. While all of Northwood is still alive. It's just... There's only... You can you can only do so much in that situation. Bink being 8-1. and one. Bink has a strafing. Let's see if he can secure that glide. Only needs one more. Definitely a B hit from Northwood here. Think looking over to where they have gone to send either an automaton or sniper the past two rounds. Infinite can get uh, to bomb, but I don't know if he will lay it just yet. Kinda just seems like he's playing his life as Dak tries to get an opening kill. Think though, pushing up onto Whoop. Could catch him off guard. Good silence. He does catch him. That is the glide. That is a massive kill streak for Northwood. As Kyle's just left an A long, kind of just hoping for his team to pick up a couple so he's safe. Thirty seconds left on bomb. As Bing picks one up. Shark now. 
Div's going the behind. There's the trade immediately. A 1v2 now. Almost gets the first on infinite. Can't pick it up though. Fantastic shots by infinite. Only seeing his head and only hitting headshots. I'm curious if Bink is going to use his glide bomb this year, this round to secure the 5-1 to one, or next round to secure the map victory if Northwood wins this round. Well, it's looking like Kyle is in that same position by looking at the map. I would say so. Looks and like they have two looking B as Bink picks up the first and Infinite picks up the second and third. Yeah. Fourth? I think I lost count. It was just too fast. It's one and a pistol right over looks on sharp. Bank and infinite just coming out here showing that they are ready to slay. 11 and 2 and 10 and 2 respectively. Those are just numbers that you can't fight with. Yeah, both Bink and Infinite are putting at almost an average of 200 damage around. Here is Bink's glide bomb. No kills, but lots of info as Infinite picks up the first. Here we see Infinite also playing the bomb B. Dak just spotted one, I believe, in the spawn, unless he missed him. Oh, he will now see whoop. And, oh no. Dak gets the assassination to end the map. Seems like we have a recurring theme here out of uh, the first two maps. The first round or the first couple seconds or points is uh, seems like Kaiser comes in pretty hard, pretty hot, and then Northwood just answers with a sweep, just uncontested here in the second map, going six to one for Northwood. Yeah, once they get the fail, it seems. And. There goes Infinite going straight over to Team 2, so I would assume we're actually going straight into the same lobby. I would not be surprised here. Host apparently must be good enough. Looks like a lobby break, though, because there's only eight people here. So we'll have a new one. Yes, we will. Uh, I don't know about you, but I got kicked from the lobby, so maybe there's a host switch. Maybe not. Uh, we'll have to see. Currently, uh, Kyle is at the main menu right now. Okay. We'll have to just wait for the invites to get on back. But for right now, let's just dive deep into the first two maps, what we have so far. Uh, Northwood just being dominant after uh, after the first couple minutes of the game. And there's yeah, just no. nothing else other than that. They're just dominant right now. Yeah, no. The only thing you'd like to see on the side of Northwood be fixed is the, the starts. They're coming out a little slow. I agree. Uh, that P1 for Bow Cage just kind of felt slow. Uh, they got flipped out uh, for bad spawns. And while Kaiser was flipping them, they were also getting time. After uh, after the first round of SND, which we all saw was not a great opening, uh, after that P1 and after that first round, Northwood just kind of settled in and said, all right, we've given them enough. Let's retake this game. And that's essentially exactly what happened. And I am back in the lobby. I don't know about you. It is not let, yeah, 
it is not letting me invite you, unfortunately. And for the third map, we have Gabatu. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I think we played Gabatu last round for the control uh, last week. Yeah, we did. These boys love their Gabutu Gavut control. Yes they, yes, they do. Same with uh, Bowcage Hardpoint. And based on last week's performance, I'm not surprised why. Uh, just absolutely, definitely, they're two strong, strong suits. But we'll see if uh, we'll see if they have a see if they have a slow start, just like the first two maps, as we get loaded into the second map here. I'm curious if you're the son of Kaiser. Do you just try to play your life on defense? You want to extend this. You want to go to a map four. You got to extend this. You have so, to definitely try. You have to pull out the big stops here just to try to combat Northwood. Uh, but we'll see what they can do. On defense, Kaiser should be push, pushing up, but uh, we will see. We'll see if that actually happens. Northwood does have offense first. So we will see what uh, what Kaiser can do on defense-wise. Like it is a full hit towards A. No doubt an A hit. Opening kill does go to Northwood. Actually, two of them, as Kaiser find themselves two men down. Both of those men being at A. Now a third. And a big so far up in their spawn. Puts two more right back in. Yep, we can see that uh, Bink is not messing around with this third map. It seems like he uh, he has something to do later on tonight. He wants to finish this up early. As he is He's currently got that the download. <laughs> yeah, no doubt he is looking forward to that MW2. I bet you he's staying up till midnight. Whether the beta comes out at 1 o'clock or midnight, he's staying up. He's just got to see. Northwood right now with an 8 light lead. Make that 9. As Dak and Kyle just finished securing A. Kaiser eight lives down. Make that nine lives down. And just not stopping. Kyle and the spawn will take down Wu. Now the double stack on A as Kyle is protecting Kaiser spawn will get taken down unfortunately. We have deck, top third of bow. You know. Blaine is life in time infinite. Here comes the glide. Infinite could not be found by Kaiser right there. Deck does get full streaks. Does have that glide and does continue going. Now 8-0. Shark will get rid of the second B tick. Dak gets tabbed up. Finally realizing that Kaiser has to deal with him. But as they're dealing with him, we have two more people pushing ring and infinite sliding onto point. Dak holding down ring. No problem for the easy two for him. And here comes the stack. See him. Yeah, no, there's one more in green still. But he's down. Bank checks. Infinite just. Check or whoop. Infinite playing his life again in time. Unfortunately, Bank does get taken down from the help there. Kyle with the two. The second one being the pistol chow. Wow. Pretty dominant first round on offense for Northwood. Just nothing else to say. 11 and 2, 13 and 5. I think we're both saying the same thing right there. Yeah. I don't know for infinite, but we saw what he's doing. Playing your life tied to zones where it matters the most. Stopping that clock, get in the capture. One thing I can guarantee is that infinite is not being quiet on accident. I feel like he is definitely just trying to focus Hill 
and he's doing a fantastic job while playing his life and in there it is first there is three Stop down immediately and there's and, the infinite pushing up to the spawn and they are just going right at it again here we see infinite more in a, an aggressive role this is what we wanted to see and this is why oh my gosh almost takes down whoop with a pistol while hip firing Bink finishes on 6 HP. Rechals almost wins the gunfight as well. Right now we are just having non-stop rotations of people, of Northwood members in their spawn. It's got to be frustrating for Kaiser. There is one player from Kaiser that has made their way to the B point. Definitely going to cause a problem for Northwood, but let's see how they deal with it. Looks like Dak is going to back up and go and play for him. Jack, thanks for first. Whoop, we'll get the kill and that first tick of progress over at B. Deck does get taken down, which is a uh, big opening for Kaiser here at B. You know, we'll get a trade, immediately trade it out though. Deck trying to do a 360 by defending time. Actually, almost gets a couple tags in. But can't. Fully get the kill. I guess one off the spawn spot swoop. Too bad. I think they're finished that kill. With only two seconds left up by more than ten kills. Yeah, that's uh that's pretty much what we expected on defense by Northwood. Little hiccup at that B point by uh Kaiser getting the tick, but 